Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Let's now have responsibility for significant amounts of public money. In Cheshire and Warrington, this includes over £200 million from the Local Growth Fund to support a range of infrastructure, skills and innovation projects, which in turn will unlock a further £380 million of public and private investment over the next 10 years. Cheshire and Warrington is a hugely successful economy. Our economic output is greater than that of the core cities such as Birmingham, Leeds and Sheffield. We have the second highest level of GVA per head of population in England outside of London. And in terms of productivity, our GVA output is around 118% above the UK average. Our economy is diverse. Alongside a thriving manufacturing sector, and you may be surprised to, um, to learn that there is more manufacturing in Cheshire and Warrington than there is in either the Liverpool or Manchester City region, we have real strengths in advanced man engineering, life sciences, chemicals, energy and environment, financial and professional services, transport and logistics. Our original aspiration for as an e was for an economy to have grown to 26.5 billion by 2021. By the end of 2015, we'd already exceeded this figure by a billion, creating 33,000 new jobs. Our new ambition is for a 50 billion economy by 2040. But transport and connectivity are central to ensuring that the aspirations for growth in Cheshire and Warrington are met, enabling the subregion to continue to be an attractive and dynamic place in which to live and do business. Cheshire and Warrington has a large amount of cross-border movement. In the morning, there are more people coming into Cheshire and Warrington to work than are going out. And as well as internal movement, we need a good transport system that is absolutely essential. This enables businesses to reach markets and access skills and talent. It allows residents to reach jobs, education, shops and leisure facilities. Transport can also have a major impact on people's health and well-being by facilitating so social interaction, encouraging more active and healthy travel and addressing traffic pollution. Key priorities for us include maximising and widening the benefits of HS2 to the wider region. Constellation, which is the public and private partnership between Cheshire and, Staff and Staffordshire uh, all around HS2, is absolutely not about creating a fantastic uh, station in Crewe. If that's all we deliver, we have failed miserably. What it is about is creating 130,000 new jobs, 120,000 plus new houses across South Cheshire and North Staffordshire. It's about opening up transport links to North Wales so that they too can benefit from that economic growth. Increasing the capacity and reliability of our motorway network. It's all very well having these wonderful trans uh, tra uh, rail projects, but if you can't actually get to the station because you're sat in a car park that's called the M6, it's not really going to help. And we need to target investment for local internal connectivity. The big projects will take a long time to deliver. What local residents want, they want money spent locally to improve their transport links now, to make their lives better, to actually make getting to work and enjoying themselves better for everybody. And we can do that now. We don't have to wait until the big projects come, come to life. These are the things that will really make a difference. Finally, I'd like to just address one of the previous qu uh, uh, questions from the previous session. Northern, the 11 Northern Leps have a seat at the table of Transport for the North. We're all there. Business needs to use their Leps to ensure that the business voice is heard. So please actively engage with your local Lep and make sure that we're the people taking your wishes, your aspirations for travel to the Transport for the North to make it better. Thank you very much.